I'm Stephen Murphy, and I am 57 years of age. I had gone to CW Post uh, College for four years. I was going to become a uh, psychologist, but found that there really weren't any jobs that were going to even closely pay the bills that I had. Uh, so what I did do is uh, I went into the business world and I just walked into agencies and uh, I said I'm looking for a sales job. That's about because I really didn't know what I wanted to do. In any case I ended up uh, getting a job from the largest company of its of its kind it, at that time was more business forms. Pretty much I've been in printing most of the times it was Commission. What happened is actually uh, in, uh, I guess it was August of 08, September 08, um, I had to, I was losing business. And uh, I basically had to make up a certain amount of business uh, in a relatively short period of time. I did have the business in what they call the pipeline, but I wouldn't have it for a good six months and they really needed it kind of then. I've been out of work about 18 uh, months or so. I um, am divorced and uh, my children live with me. I have uh, two children, uh, they're twins, they're 14 and a half, and uh, you know, they go to the local school here. When I was divorced, we sold a house so there was some money prior to this, that's pretty much gone. Yes, I rent. A lot of it is unemployment, um, uh, you know, uh, benefits and so forth, and uh, having, uh, you know, help from social services, which is interesting because, you know, I generally never would go for, so, uh, you know, social services, but I realize, you know, because I have kids, I have to sort of put my pride aside and, you know, you, you, I think most people want to do it on their own if they can, but it became, you know, this thing came, uh, as far as being out of work, really stretched out, and I didn't expect this. I really didn't. Cobra uh, ran out, and um, I'm on, um, I will be on, I'm right now on, I don't have any health care, but I will uh, be under um, the government's plan, as my kids are. Well, it's difficult. Uh, in, with the kids because they can't, uh, I c can't really afford bringing them on vacations, uh, you know, getting um, a bigger place at this point. Um, so it, it's, it's not as conducive for a child as it might be. I mean, we have a close relationship, which is good, but it, there's a strain. There's a definite strain because, you, you know, I I grew up. I always had a house, and you know, uh, it just there's just a unsaid stress that's always always over your head. And do I lose sleep? Absolutely. But I know I have to get up the next day and do it again, and I will continue to do so until I get a job. How I don't care how long it takes but I will um, eventually get a job uh, that makes sense, uh, you know, uh, for me and for my background and talents and skills and so forth, but it's when. Uh, especially uh, my son, even though he's only 14 and a half, uh, the other day, I, I, when we went shopping, I said, uh, you know, uh, okay, they get, you know, dinners that uh, they like and, uh, and I was noticing that he was buying these little things, little soup uh, things. I said, what are you doing? He goes, well, I know we don't have a lot of money, so I'm, you know, I don't want to eat too much. I said, no, no, no. We have enough money for you to, um, uh, to eat the way you need to. So please get something else. But it just told me how aware he really is of the situation. I'm keeping my head above water. But I, it's my feeling that there is going to become a time, if I don't get a job, that the, the real uh, financial problems will start.
I have the background, I have the understanding, I know I'm PC proficient, you know, anything, you know, I, I don't just go to any job, I go to a job I feel would be a fit for the company, a fit for me. Basically what happens, and this is happening over and over again, is they said, okay, now we're going to, uh, the next level, and he'll be like a regional manager or something like that. The guy will come out, I passed all these tests, passed all these phone interviews, and he'll walk out face drops. And then he brings me in and I have a five minute interview. Well, they just told me how great I was in the, uh, in the phone interviews. He's saying, basically, uh, you're too old. I don't see a real lot being said anywhere about um, how deep this age discrimination goes. And it, it, there's no question because I I'm not just talking about me. I'm, I'm seeing other people who have these fantastic credentials and, and years of experience, and they can't get to square one.